Hello, come on, you're on my photo booth. I just got ready for the day. I need to curl my hair, even though it kind of dried pretty curly. I'm gonna put, maybe I won't actually. Um, I look so pale though, like I need to see the sun. It's actually like absurd at this point. Today we are going top golfing for Delilah's dad's birthday. So we're gonna go and have a cute little wholesome day. I need to leave in about 15 minutes. Got ready a lot faster than I thought. I'm wearing just like a black tee. These, which are from, hold on, Rasta. The fit is so nice, they're like really great material. Here they are. Um, and then I'm just wearing like Samba, I think they're called. And then I've got some bracelets on and some rings and that's that. I say we go. What do you say? Look at my arms. <laughs> Let's go. I decided to go and pick up some little snacks, little chocolates or something, candy for Delilah's dad for his birthday. T -t -t well, today is not his actual birthday, but I thought showing up empty handed was just not going to do. So we're at a Ralph's. Let's go in. I might get Delilah something too. I feel like my eyebrows are like too stuck up right now and it's making me a little angry. We'll fix that later. Let's go. Okay, little haul. His favorites are pretzel M&Ms and then like Reese's. So I got both of those and then Delilah was having a bad day. So I got her, I would not eat these, trust me, but she loves them. So I got her two peeps, one s'mores and one sour watermelon, so yay. Now I did not get a gift bag, so I will just be walking in with this, but it'll be fun. Okay, let's go. Um, Did I change? Yes, I did because I thought we were being jean girlies, but we were not, we were being skirt girlies. So now okay. I'm borrowing a skirt okay. from Delilah. Okay. So it's not exactly the top I would have worn, but we get over oh, it. Wow. Now we're on our way and we're 20 minutes away and we're gonna try the peeps. Like I'm really hungry. Like almost, almost in a bad mood hungry. Uh -oh. I don't know why. That's so not good for me. So we're gonna try some peeps. So hopefully it'll make her a little bit happier. Ready? I'm ready. I'm, I hope I like it. I think I might. Okay, ready? Go. Okay, go. Okay, go a little mm -hmm. on. I like it. Which makes a lot of sense for you. Yeah. To like it. It's not You're gonna love the sour food. watermelon. Okay. Well, we'll see you when we get there. We're uh, 15 away. Oh my goodness! I have to show you my dance. Oh my god, yes! Let it's actually see. kind of fun. Wait, you you made it up? I made it up. Are we ready to golf? No. You're about to suck. How many times have you done that? Like a dozen. I've only done this maybe twice. Oh. The, the one time that we went together in Palm Springs. Oh, Not golf, like, like, like far. Driving range. Yes. Either be really good, which is, that's an option. Us being good. No, I just don't know yet. So what do you think so the lamest way. sport is? Sorry, terrible segue. But, <laughs> but what do you think lamest the lamest sport. sport? Like if a guy came up to you and was like, oh yeah, this is the sport I play. What would, what would what would well yeah that's pretty lame. <laughs> I think it was my guy came up here once and told me that I'm not even joking. God, I'm not even joking, Delilah. I don't feel like I remember that. Cause I probably told you. Do awesome. you know who it is? Oh. That's what I was thinking yeah. of. Yeah. There's like others, but I'm like, what's that one? But it's fun, but it is kind of lame. Like what? Shuffleboarding. That's so lame. But it's fun. If they're doing it like professionally, yeah, it's no, lame. But if they like, like to play, that's adorable. Yeah. I think kind of with frisbee. Yeah. Like if you like it, that's so cute. Oh, I need over. <laughs> you need all the way over, actually. Oh. I need to put pep in your step. Wee. Wee. It's it's me. Should I take my rings off? This is for that's what the idea. It's easy. Huh? Bring it back like a pendulum, like just like the whole thing should come in, and then come, and then. Yeah. We're going with your head up. Yeah. Your head looking at the ball. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this shit. She did too good and got it too fast. Oh, no. Hey, you hit it. <laughs> That's so sweet. This is the best 21st birthday ever. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know? I am about to be the best. Oh. I won the last one. Now look who's in the lead. Uh, we're not done yet. 
We're not done yet. <laughs> I won twice. I cannot believe why am I good at those. I'm taking top I bet that 10 out of 10 experience. I really enjoyed that. Hi! Okay, she's teaching me a dance. Let me see. Driveway. Delilah made this up. This is what I do when I'm bored. Okay, love, let's do it. Time. That's so funny because you could tell who grew up with the camera on their face and who did not because you know, they don't care. Should I go hong? Huh? Hong. Do not. Do not. Hong. You Alright, we're changing locations. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jerry. Happy birthday to you. I'm back in the car because I'm back in the car. Update, Delilah is not with me anymore. We went to her mom's and we had some more desserts. I am actually like so full, it's not even funny, but honestly a really good full. Like I, hold on. I had chicken tenders and tater tots, delish. It was honestly probably my favorite meal. Like if I, if it was me and a meal, hold on. I need like over. And then I had a pizuki, we all know pizuki my favorite but it was like a brownie cookie <laughs> so so good and then when we went to her mom's she had cannolis and macarons and like i am just the happiest like it's sitting in my stomach really well so we're gonna be hitting some traffic but with that being said i have a 45 minute drive eating my mom and Haley back at my apartment at 7 30 i'm getting there at 7 27 so look who's i've been great on time today props to me meeting them because we're gonna watch the bachelor it's the women tell all i've been so good at dodging spoilers because technically it comes out or it came out yesterday or it like comes out like a, i don't know but whatever it's been out and we're gonna watch all of it I w what is that sound oh oh there was an accident there's a ambulance but was that the sound he was making it sounded like something was under my car his lights are on. Oh my god, wait. Um, hopefully everything's good there. But I was gonna do like a little snack night, like bring your own snack board and like movie night and um, pajama night. But I'm not eating. I'm not eating for a little bit. I'll probably eat in the next clip, like knowing me. Do you want over? I want to look. Yeah, oh my god, there's an accident right here. Like right here. Oh my god, they're bringing out a stretcher. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> Ooh, oh my god, it was a motorcycle. There was somebody on the ground. Oh my god, I hope he's okay. It was like a Tesla, another car, and a motorcycle. And so I was like, why is somebody on the ground? Because the cars looked fine. They looked like they got in a wreck, but nothing like crazy. And then a motorcycle. Oh my god, let's just hope that he is okay. Wow, I'm going to sit here. <laughs> and maybe they're listening to music or maybe a podcast i used to be really into crime podcasts but i've been like completely off my like crime game because of the apartment i'm like nervous i'm gonna listen to it and like get really scared but i think we're gonna listen to a crime podcast and maybe criminal minds soonish i'm just nervous for some reason even though i've seen every episode like three times i'm nervous but also sorry i literally just said i was gonna go but i'm not golfing why was i really good at it okay let's calm down let's calm down i wasn't really good at it but i won the first two games i mean were we playing angry birds yes but did i win yeah anyway i actually had a ton of fun i didn't get a lot of footage but just know it was really fun but i'm excited to see my little family now i feel like i haven't seen Haley in a little bit would you guys rather because i'm sitting in traffic right now 
Would you guys rather sit in traffic for 30 minutes or take the back roads for 45 minutes? Because I would rather take the back roads because I do not like sitting in traffic. I wonder like, this is like a crazy topic, but I'm like, I wonder if, if I'd started on like other sports than gymnastics, like I wonder if I'd be like really good at any of them, you know? If I like started golfing when I was like three years old, that? Anyone who starts that young has got to be okay, right? I think that I wouldn't be good at soccer. I was gonna say I would be good, but then I just thought about it like for two more seconds. I'm like, absolutely not. I used to hate running. And I, I like it now, but like not enough to do that. I would want to be good at soccer. What is buzzing? Oh my god. Like I would want to be good at soccer, but I'm, I, I just know that I probably wouldn't be. I think I'd be good at cheerleading because it's like similar. I don't know. Like what if I was like an amazing like diver? And I just don't know. I feel like now I'm kind of hating this topic because now it makes me like want to go and do a sport. I think it's actually crazy that I don't do a sport right now. Like, like because I grew up doing a sport, literally like it felt like 24 seven that it's like, wow, like there was life out of that. Like it didn't feel like it. Like it felt like that was everything. Oh, look at that lighting. But like that was all there was. Like it was gymnastics. Like it's crazy that like that's not a part of my life anymore. It was like you wake up, you go to the gym, you do school at the gym, then you continue doing gym, then you go to sleep, then you wake up and you repeat. Like all my friends, like that's crazy. And like now I'm in LA, like driving and complaining about the traffic and golfing. Like what? I'm trying to think, like what sport? Here's a good question of the day. Hopefully I remember this later, but what sport would you want to be good at? Like play? Like, I think that mine, hmm, hockey. Because I, that's something that I'm so bad at, like unbelievably bad at, like skating, I mean. And I know no rules to hockey, I love watching it. I think it's awesome, I think it's sexy. Or figure skating, honestly, anything on the ice is something I wish so badly I started when I was young so I could be good at. I'm terrible, god awful. <laughs> I wish I was good at it, because that's so cool. Eat, like both, I would want to do both. I don't like how cold it is, but I, maybe when you're playing it doesn't, it isn't that cold, but I don't know. I should do a video, honestly, we should do a video where we go to a park and we see what gymnast- or a park and I also want a trampoline. Can this- can this stop buzzing please? Is it that? I was totally in that guy's lane because I was trying to find the thing that was buzzing. What the hell is buzzing? It's gonna drive me insane. Going this way? No, I just missed my exit because of that buzzing thing. <sighs> it's not gonna be good because there's traffic. Oh, I just screwed myself up. Okay, no, I did major traffic because of that stupid buzzing. I'm also always like thinking about like tomorrow and stuff and I'm possibly depending, I don't know, not filming tomorrow. And here's why, I have a dentist appointment where I'm getting a cavity filled literally don't talk to me guys i have a whole story about this actually i will tell it i am prone to cavities i swear to god i have i literally have like a seven step teeth routine okay it has always been like this when caleb Haley, and i used to always go to the dentist they would walk out with like a lollipop in mouth and they'd be like yeah you've like three cavities and i like i'm like i don't know how how it happens okay like they we were all fine with brushing our teeth. I, I swear, okay, I swear. But I'm like so prone to it. So, almost every time I go to the dentist, I, I never go out unscathed. They're always like, you have to come back. And I'm like, well, of course you have to come back. Like, you have to come back next week. And I'm like, Aah. So, I go and they're like, yeah, you have... Okay, actually, let me start from the beginning. <laughs> so, I go to the, the dentist like a year ago, maybe a year and a half and they're like oh you have a cavity and i'm like okay per let's get that fixed but we never set up this is like when i was younger like we never got that set up to actually get it filled because there was just so much going on in our lives that like we just didn't ever do it and then i went to another dentist like seven months ago i don't remember and they were like yeah you're good they like checked me for two seconds they're like yeah you're good and i was like weird because in my head i was like i was living with the cavity like, it was like haunting me i was like oh my god like i have the cavity and like i never got it fixed but whatever like i'm gonna go to the dentist and they're just gonna tell me again because it was a new dis dentist and they're like no you have nothing i was like oh like maybe that dentist was lying to me i don't know 
And then I go to this dentist like a month ago and they're like, yeah, well you have two cavities. And I was, and it was in the same teeth that I knew I had the cavities or had the old cavity. And I was like, oh my God. And then they were like, yeah, so we'll just get those fixed, whatever. I was like, okay, it's probably like not good that I've had that cavity for so long. And then, oh my God, I go, like, I'm gonna like start crying talking about it. I've always been fine with the dentist because I've had so many like cavities. I never got any work done, no braces, no nothing. But I was used to like that, that experience, but I guess I wasn't completely aware when I was younger of like what was actually going on. Cause they put like blues clues on and I was fine but guys oh my god so I was going in like yeah let's do it like I knew I wasn't gonna love the numbing or like the shot or whatever but like whatever I go guys <laughs> I go in and I come out a new person like I I was fully traumatized and it was not the dentist's fault I mean let, hear me out because I'm going back to this dentist so they clearly didn't traumatize me that much but I just kind of expected this to be like I don't know like a 25 30 minute process I'm almost positive I was there for like, like with things in my mouth for like an hour. And like, if I had known that I would have prepared for that, but I did not prepare for that. So I'm sitting there and they have like this thing that's like holding up my, holding my mouth open, like a little bite thing. So I can't close my mouth, which I get. Then he's got the assistant and the assistant's like doing that thing where it's like the saliva, like to pull it, like pull whatever, you know what I'm talking about. But it's, she, when she's doing it, she's like hitting the, like my back of my throat is sharp and I'm like, oh, that hurts. But here's the kicker. Are you ready for this? I was just getting over a really bad, like cold, like super bad. Like I was out for like four or five days and the cough lingered for like two weeks. So like, I had like a pretty gnarly cough. It, I wasn't like contagious or anything. It was just the cough lingered for a long time. So the whole time I'm like fighting the urge to cough and I'm like, I'm gonna like actually start crying. That wasn't even it. They did not have blues clues on. You know what they had on? Uh, a, a, a TV screen with a camera filming what they're not filming. They were taking pictures of each step. So I wasn't seeing them actually drill into my tooth. Sorry, click off if you've got uh, what teeth warning. They were taking pictures. So all I got to see on the little, the bit, not the little, the big screen was, oh my God, I can't talk about it. was literal holes. No, I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it. Cause I, I I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. And I hate the numbing part of it. They were at, bleh, they were asking me to like, like drink the water and like not drink it like swish around like swish around the water and spit it out but i couldn't because like my whole cheek was like completely numb and i was like you're joking so i'm like actually like guys it's kind of sad like i was sitting there being like i want like in my head i was like i want to go home like I, I was saying that like how sad is that i was like i want to go home i want to go home like i told myself i was like you'll be fine just like wait until you're in the car and then you can cry like i knew i was gonna cry and i'm not like that so like I, this just just to, it goes to show how like bad i badly i did not want to be there so i was like because you can feel it <sighs> so then guys it's me up he's like yeah so he shows me the pictures i'm like what if i didn't want to see these and he's like yeah so like they looked the cavities looked super like minor and then when we went in there they were actually super super deep and i'm like oh my god like okay like i don't i they're good now right and he was just like they're like super hidden like your teeth look like they're like great and then when i went in that's why it took so long i was like oh you could have told me like how much longer not like not like it's his fault because he probably he everyone has their own ways of doing things but like i think i would have been so much better if he was like oh you only have 10 minutes left or like because he kept being like almost done and i was like you're tricking me i'm not almost done and i don't i don't like that anyway beside the point i'm like actually like t eyes watering like i'm like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and oh my god i'm like get me out of here as fast as you possibly can and you know what this man says to me he's like he shows me a picture of another tooth he goes well this thing this thing or he, no, he didn't say thing but you know what i mean this whatever tooth actually has slight showings of a possible cavity and we weren't worried about it until we saw how deep your other ones were so and he was saying it so nonchalantly though because he was like so just go ahead and book an appointment for that one and i'll see you then and, th and then I'm like walking out the door and I'm like, I, I have to come back and do that all over again. And now it doesn't seem as bad because I've like coped and I'm like, now I know what I'm like to, what to expect. And like, it's been a second. So I don't remember how traumatizing it was, but it was like, guys, I, I, I was like, that was the most traumatizing experience of my life. And then he tells me this terrible information right as I'm about to walk out the door. And then I have to, instead of like being like, okay, thanks so much. Here's my insurance card. And then I'm going, I had to book another thing. And I'm like, oh my God, my mom was there. So she, I, when I walked out, she could tell I was, she was like, oh, like this is not good. So we're like sitting there like trying to like, 
like tell them like what day works and i to literally tell them like next week but that didn't work because i was moving so i changed it blah 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 blah. but i had to leave like i had to leave i told my mom what day works i gave her my credit card i gave her my insurance card i was like i have got to go imagine me <laughs> imagine me leaving a dentist office by myself my one side of my face is fully numb sobbing my eyes out heading for my car but we parked so far so i'm passing people and i don't even care like i'm sure it looks so weird because one of my one side i probably couldn't even like cry it was traumatizing the thing that i'm let's look on the bright side the only thing that i'm absolutely grateful for is that if it was on the same side i would have actually like like sued i i, I would have actually been so mad i would have been able to have like just gotten it done that day and only been numb once numbed once and like only had to like go through that like once but it's on the other side so either way it probably is better this way because i would have literally cried my eyes out if it was both cheeks you know what i mean like walking home like that so it's just the other side now that we have to go back and do but i'm like dreading it guys like i'm dreading it so there's that it's like maybe i could vlog i'm just like really like I might just need the day off as that dentist store because I actually like came home crying and then like every time when I retold this story to Haley, I started crying again. And like, I don't, not that I don't cry, I'm just, I'm not like that emotional, I would say. Okay, I cannot mix, miss this exit. I was not having, I was not having a good time. Like imagine like all of this gear, like, like a drill pretty much in your mouth and you're, you needing to cough. And then, oh my god, like if they put Wonder Pets on or something, I think I would have been fine. But like, they're just sitting there feeling everything and knowing exactly what they're doing. Like, uh-uh. I hate the dentist. And I've never been the type to hate the dentist. And now I hate the dentist. Oh, wait, wait, now where am I going? Anyway, now I'm going to listen to a crime podcast. Now that I've told you that amazing story. That's all. Let's go see my family. My family! Oh my god, you can see me back there. Before, this is this is a warning. I'm a, we're about to like like listen to me if you're not paying attention. We're I'm about to show some stuff from The Bachelor. So if you are not caught up, this is the women tell all. You you're gonna get spoilers like big ones. So stop watching. Stop watching. I'll tell you. I'll put the timestamp right here when you can start watching again. Because we're about to spoil so much because I filmed it. Okay, this is for you. Now enjoy. Okay, but I swear. Or vice versa. Haley, Haley, if Kelsey goes home, I'm never watching Bachelor again. Please, he's gonna pick Daisy first. Watch Daisy. Do it. No, it's not, because I'm gonna turn it off. I'm ready. Haley, I'm gonna turn it off. I have it ready to put me off. Ladies. Joey. This is the final rose. Oh, we were really excited. Now I feel awful. Okay, guys, you know what I'm about to do? They just left. I'm I'm gonna turn on Modern Family. I'm gonna put my picture frame on my picture. I'm not gonna hang it up because it's way too late to be hammering and walls. But I'm gonna put it on and just put it there just so I can see it because that frame finally came. So I was literally being hung up with sticky tack right now, so it definitely needs a remodel. Let's put Modern Family on though. So this is what I'm talking about. Sorry, I need to do a day where I get go through all these boxes because this is awful. But this is what I'm talking about. It's literally hung up with literal sticky tack. You can so I'm gonna take this down and put it in the frame. And then I can start kind of decorating this because it's ready for it. All right, 
Okay, now I just need to hang it up, but I probably need my mom's help for that. Mine is sticky tack on the wall. I think it's gonna look so much better and like all this will be cleared out and like decorations and it'll look good. I've got a vision, but yay, that's very exciting. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to wrap this video up. I just edited it tonight, which is normally, I normally edit in the morning. I did it tonight because tomorrow I need, I have the dentist, like I said, and I think I need to go grocery shopping before that. But I thought getting it done now would be good. It's 11.09, so I'm gonna go to bed, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little, I think I'm gonna call it a drive with me because a lot of the video is about that um, little story time. I don't know. And I will see you guys possibly tomorrow. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about that yet. I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself. Possibly tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then I will see you the next day. I love you. And comment down all those questions that I asked earlier. This, once again, is for you. Here it is. I love you. Have a good night or day. And then I'll see you later. Mwah.